Hello, dear students. Our topic for today is change and anti-chains. So let me first define what are chains and anti-chains. So a chain in a partially ordered set is a subset of elements which are all comparable to each other. Comparable in the sense, all these elements in the subset will satisfy the property of the relation in the whole set. Similarly, for anti chain, it is a subset of elements, no two of which are comparable to each other. Okay, so let me specify it more with the help of an example. Let S be the set of divisors of 30. So, what are the divisors of 30? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. 10 and 15 and 30. Okay, so these are the divisors of 30. So among them, the chains are nothing but the subsets of this particular set S in which all the elements are comparable. Comparable in the sense, in this first set, in this first subset, if you consider the elements 1, 2, 6, and 30, all of these elements are divisible by one another. So that means 1 is divisible, 2 is divisible by 1, 6 is divisible by 1, 30 is divisible by 1. Similarly, for this subset, 15 is divisible by 3. And in this subset, 10 is divisible by 5. Similarly, if I take another subset 2, 3, 5, it is an anti-chain. Why? Because no two elements are divisible by each other. Okay? So here, 2 is not divisible by 3, 3 is not divisible by 2, 5 is not divisible by 3. Okay? So this is an anti-chain of length 